الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله it's important this last eight or nine days of Ramadan to benefit as much as possible in your ibadah and in your time. And Imam Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned in some poetry of his, he said, Waya harisan ala tawbah hadha zamaniha. Waya raghiban fi ta'ati wal ibanati hadha ibaniha. فأكثروا فيه ذكر الله وقراءة القرآن وتوبة والاستغفار وعمروا أوقاته بطاعة ملك الغفار فسعيد من عرف شرف أوقاته فاغتنمها وشقي المحروم من ضيعها وأهملها فلقد رغم أن فهمري أدرك رمضان فلم يغفر فلم يغفر له لتفريته وتضيعه وتوبة لمن ظفر فيه بمغفرة ورحمة ورحمة لحسن لحسن صنيعه يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم صيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون إمام سعدي Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, O oh, the one who is vigilant in making toba, this is your time. O oh, the one who desires to make obedience to Allah and seek his forgiveness, this is the time of forgiveness. And increase during this time, your remembrance of Allah and reading the Quran and Tawbah and seeking forgiveness and benefiting from your time with obedience to Al-Malak Al-Ghaffari, to the, the Sovereign Lord, the acceptor of forgiveness, the off-forgiving then the one who is happy is the one who knows the status of his time and he takes this opportunity. And the one who is saddened is the one who is been prohibited by wasting it and being careless with it. And he said the one who does not benefit and get forgiven during Ramadan is humiliated during his wastefulness and due to his wastefulness and his uh, going beyond the bounds. So give glad tidings to the one who is forgiven and has the mercy from the righteous way he spent uh, his time. And then he mentioned the ayat, O oh, you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you, similar to the way it was prescribed for those who came before you, in order that you will receive taqwa. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.